if you release Malfael from his madness, I will not thank you for it. That would be asking too much. This is the story of the Pandemonium Gate and the quest's original appearance in Reaper of Souls. Post putting down the witch Adria, we learn Malfiel has fled to Pandemonium. With this knowledge, we race back to the Survivor's Enclave and find Tyriel, still nursing his wounds from his former colleague, and he states, It seems our friend Malfiel is in Pandemonium. No doubt he has gone to the fortress. Malfael can hold out there until the end of time. He is forcing us to come to him. He's clever, delaying us while his power grows with each moment. The only way to Pandemonium is through the High Heavens. Let us leave at once. Huh. Not through a sewer this time. With little recourse and no time to talk to the townsfolk, we step through the portal to heaven once more. What is this? Entering the heavens, we see angels' bodies littered about. The brethren head north to the cause of the carnage as we follow on. Destroy the gate! The Nephilim is here! Racing up the stairs behind the angels, we find a battle occurring between angels and Malthiel's reapers, led by one of Malthiel's former angels of wisdom, the Maiden, Lamiel. Destroy the remnants of Malthiel's troops. Nothing is left of their battle, save for their weapons and armor. All that's left are the two summoners of destruction, which we put down. And in a blinding bolt of light, Imperius appears. He dares to attack us. Clearly enraged by his brother's bold attack, Imperius seeds and he stalks through the pandemonium gate himself. Tyriel opts to pause for a moment, and yet we have no such luxury, and dutifully follow behind. Malthael tried to keep me from entering pandemonium. I must be moving faster than he anticipated. Now, I will cross this wilderness past the wreckage of countless battles between angel and demon. Somewhere out there is the Pandemonium Fortress, where the Angel of Death waits for me. Crossing through the Pandemonium Gate, we find ourselves on a floating platform. Demons scattered about, no doubt in the path of an enraged Imperius. Heading down the stairs, we see the very architecture is lined with corpses from battles long forgotten. And at the bottom awaits Imperius. There is a siege camp not far from here. Meet me there and I will show you what must be done. Well, we have no choice but to meet the Archangel of Valor at this siege camp. You know, we think maybe Imperius should impart his ways on how to teleport, but Think better of asking him. As we cross over the ancient battleground, demons burst forth from the very ground itself, defending the small slice of paradise. And we find ourselves greatly overwhelmed by their numbers until Imperius teleports down, causing a shockwave through their ranks and says, We do not have the luxury of time. Imperius, with his spear Solarian, effortlessly breaks through the barricade and we wonder, where was this Imperius when we were battling the prime evil? Oof. We are then rushed by some war-scarred marauders. Bone and sinew barely held together. What a miserable and unending existence these demons have to face in Pandemonium. Just to the east, we see a lone demon manning a Pandemonium siege tower and rip its chains off its hinges as he falls impotently down into the crag below. To the north, we see we are barred in again, as there is a barricade and multiple war-scarred ravagers leading their foot soldiers. But this time, their numbers are even greater, and we fear we'll be overwhelmed again, but... Imperius intervenes. Must I do everything for you? We would like to respectfully remind the Archangel that we are doing his work by hunting down Malthiel, but it doesn't seem to be a great time. Heading down some stairs to the northwest, we are set upon by the unique Ravager, 
Belagafor, who seems to be a siege runekeeper and pushes us to the edge of the cliff in an attempt to push us off. We shift into our form Akarat's champion and are still overwhelmed by demons when, once again, Imperius intervenes. That is a siege room. Bring it with you. We dutifully follow instructions and pick up the siege rune as Imperius destroys the final barricade and disappears once more. As we head down the steps, we see the Pandemonium Fortress in the distance. As we enter the abandoned siege camp, finding ourselves a waypoint, an Imperius impatiently waits, overlooking the battering ram below. It's then, he says. Do you see the battering ram below? That is the only way you can breach the fortress gates. But it is useless without the siege rooms that power it. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. You will find them on the battlefield below, in prison along with the demons that carried them. Once you have the rooms, go to the ram. But know this, Nephilim. Even if you release Malthael from his madness, I will not thank you for it. That would be asking too much. It's then, for a final time, Imperius disappears in a ray of light, leaving us to find the final two siege runes for the Battering Ram and breach the fortress. Of course, that is a story for another time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Dark Lore.